Welcome to the training session, GNSS training session being provided by the Florida Surveying and Mapping Society, Florida GNSS Users Group, a training section of the Florida Surveying and Mapping Society. Uh, the Florida GNSS Users Group, formerly the Florida GPS Users Group, is the oldest such group in the United States, formed in 1988 and continuous to this day. And their goal is to provide education and outreach to surveyors not only in Florida but around the country and perhaps in other parts of the world to effectively use GNSS technology. Because as we know, the, the day the instruments show up in your office, they often come in a box that looks something like this. And you can take the instrument out and you can learn very quickly how to punch the buttons and collect the data. You can take the training classes from the various manufacturers who all do a very good job on teaching you how to utilize the, the, uh, the tools themselves. But in many cases, not so much how to deal with the geodesy that's the foundation for all the data that you are going to collect utilizing uh, these, these very, very uh, high accuracy tools. This information is being provided, again, by the Florida GNSS Users Group in collaboration with the American Association for Geodetic Surveying and the National Society of Professional Surveyors. So the idea of migrating away from the older ways of doing business, the static vision of the world as, a, as being flat into the global environment that we're all working in, and introducing the concepts in geodesy which take us from a vision of the world as a sphere to one that we know is not quite like that and can be quite complex to understand. To also give you the background in fundamentally understanding what is a GPS position. What comes into the process of making that measurement at each and every location? This is quite radically different from previous measurement capabilities, whether it was measuring with a chain, or turning an angle with a theodolite, or measuring with an electronic distance measurer that was using microwave or light wave. Now the relationships between different points are computed through individual independent measurements at equal points brought together and managed together. And how does that data work? How is it acquired? What are the error sources? How does it relate to something on the ground? Our co global coordinate systems. You're using a, a global positioning technology, yet in many cases you might want to actually portray it in something that's more two-dimensional and very, very localized. So what are the procedures you want to follow to understand that? Understanding the geodetic datums that are associated with it. The multitudes of datums, whether they're national datums for the United States or global datums that might be available. The relationship between mathematical surfaces such as the ellipse and the gravity field such as the geoid. These are new concepts to many users and are vital to, to understanding and being able to effectively use GNSS technology. How are things moving with time? How will you adapt to those motions, you and your community, your company, your agency? Looking at positional differences that are coming about that are planned for 2022 by the National Geodetic Survey. Lateral or horizontal positions easily in, in the looking at changes in the range of, of a meter to almost a meter and a half. And heights, the most important aspect of probably our entire national reference frame. The vertical, height component, everything is about where water goes. We see this all the time in the, in the major flooding areas that have occurred in the country, even just recently. And the traditional methods of, of collecting that data versus more contemporary ways of collecting it as opposed to using GNSS technology and bringing that data together in the more complex environment of the relationship of our terrestrial surface, the reference ellipse, and the geoid that helps us model um, the, the global mean sea level. So these are the fundamental aspects of the geodesy that are going to be, that are going to be presented in, in these forthcoming um, presentations. 
Again, also looking at the change predicted in 2022 for the ellipsoidal height component. And finally, uh, future sessions looking at factors with GPS, the error sources that, are, that, are, that will impact GPS measurements, the predictability of using tools such as the NGS Online Positioning User Service, or utilizing some locally available real-time network. So the, national, the um, Florida Surveying and Mapping Society, in collaboration with their GNSS users group, preparing these brief one-hour segments that we hope you will all find enjoyable. We hope that you'll find them useful and helpful for your, your continued use of high-accuracy GPS positioning. Thank you very much.